It's Friday night. I'm going to make some dinner. Alfredo with some chicken and some broccoli and I'm going to show you how I make it. It's really easy. I've been making it forever so I don't even have a recipe that I reference. I mean the recipe is on my blog but it's all a cure now. So I'm just going to show you. We're winging it. I'm not measuring anything. Let's go. Okay I got my pot of water. Just added some salt to it like a tablespoon waiting for that to boil. So sometimes I make this and I just do the Alfredo sauce and pasta, um, but last week I did it with broccoli and chicken and it was really good and I felt like it was more filling even though pasta is filling. It was just more nutritionally balanced. <laughs> so we are going to do roasted broccoli and then I have some pre-cooked chicken I'm going to add in and we'll mix it all in together at the end. So I'm going to start roasting my broccoli first because that's going to take the longest. garlic powder. A little bit more. They're all oiled. They're going in a 400 degree oven for like 20 minutes. So they're crispy. All right. I thought I had more whipping cream than this. This is like half a container. I really need a whole container to make enough sauce to stretch over this pasta that's like a little bit over a pound. Um, so we're going to use milk too. It'll be fine. So I'm going to put the heat on like medium-ish. And I have a whole stick of butter. I'm just going to whisk it in. Probably good. All right. So I'm just going to keep mixing this and it's going to start simmering and I'm going to let it simmer for like one to two minutes. And then I'm going to turn the heat down. I'm going to stir in some cheese and it'll thicken up fully incorporated. I am going to turn my temperature up. You really got to watch it, especially with an electric stove. I'm going to see if I can get it to start boiling up a little bit, but I'm not going to leave my stove. I'm just going to stir the whole time. So I'm just going to do like a teaspoon. Oh yeah, it's starting to bubble now. Pepper. This is always the part where I start to like lose faith in my process and I'm worried that I'm going to ruin it and I need to take it off the heat. But if I take it off the heat right now, it's not going to be thick. It's going to be like watery and that is not the same. I'm bubbling for like two minutes, so I'm going to start adding in my Parmesan. In layers, because I like to wait till it's like melted and then I add more and I think that's probably good. It's feeling like the right consistency is and as it cools, it's going to thicken up more. It ended up being like 15 minutes, but you can see it's like black, like charred. That's what we want. Okay, look at my sauce now. I don't know if you can see that, but it's thick now. Okay, I got my cooked pasta here and my sauce, my chicken and my broccoli. So I think I'm gonna start with the, pot, the sauce. I'm gonna pour it over the pasta and then add everything else. In. So we've got our sauce here. Oh yeah, I'm glad I added the milk because now it's like saucy enough. Let's add in the chicken. Probably should have warmed up the chicken, but it'll warm up with the pasta. It'll be fine. Broccoli. Someone's going to complain about the broccoli. My children. My children are going to complain about the broccoli. There we go. All ready for dinner. I didn't give exact measurements, but I do have this full recipe on my blog, aliencooks.com. 